Pam Page and the Cabrillo Band and Orchestra. Hi, I'm Stanley Garber, principal of Cabrillo Middle School. And it's a pleasure to welcome you on this slightly overcast day to the Redwood Amphitheater at Great America in the shadow of the 49ers Levi Stadium for Cabrillo's 45th annual eighth grade promotional ceremony, the 25th since Cabrillo reopened in 1992. At this time, I'd like to call up one of Cabrillo's outstanding eighth grade students, Danielle Schmitz, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And when Danielle is finished, and when Danielle is finished, please remain standing while Julia Cook and Tan V. Sadai sing our national anthem.
Cabrillo's Vice Principal Mark Ogier. <laughs> PE and leadership teacher Marianne Bowles. Eighth grade PE teacher Jack DiCarlo. English social studies teacher Brian DeWester. Cabrillo's counselors Lynn Camacho Light, Carmen Maciel, and Maria Solario. And your student body president Mateo Urquidus. Next, I'd like to introduce Santa Clara Unified School District's district administrators on stage, beginning with health and wellness coordinator, Ben Gonzalez. Lori Stapleton, director of secondary education. Kevin Keegan, the assistant superintendent of human resources. Kathy Knavel, Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services. And the Superintendent of the Santa Clara Unified School District, Dr. Stanley Rose. Also on stage are board members, Albert Gonzalez. And board president, Andy Ratterman. At this time, I'd like to introduce your president, Mateo Urquides, to make his, his remarks to you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mateo Urquides, and it has been an honor being your ASB president. I would like to thank all who are here with us at this year's Cabrillo Middle School graduation ceremony. It truly means a lot to us graduates that our families, faculty, district administration, our Santa Clara Unified School District board members, and of course our teachers are here to see us to get our, our are here to see us get our diplomas today. Without you, we wouldn't be where or who we are today as individuals. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Please give them a round of applause. Now, can I please have Mr. DiCarlo stand up? <laughs> As all of you may know, Mr. DiCarlo is retiring this year and will be moving on to his next chapter in life. <laughs> Love you! He will be missed dearly. Mr. DiCarlo showed major dedication and heart in his job, and we are honored to be graduating Cabrillo with him. Let's also give Mr. DiCarlo a round of applause. <laughs> now, let's get to our graduating class of 2017. <laughs> Throughout our three years at Cabrillo, we've made so many memories. In our first few days of middle school, we were still adjusting to pretty much everything, like not having any more recess, not getting numbers as grades, the amount of school spirit Cabrillo produced at our annual rally, spirit days, lunchtime contest, and our wonderful year of sports. It's these memories that will make us miss Cabrillo even more. Cabrillo has become a home to us. At first, we were very nervous and scared to see what challenges awaited, but with a little time, we see Cabrillo as a place where diversity is accepted, a place where we can reach our full potential and strive for greatness. Cabrillo has helped us break down walls. Take me, for example. In sixth grade, I was the shy and anxiety-filled kid who barely raised my hand up to answer a question in class. But now, I am more open and confident than ever. It's this confidence that, is, that has made me run for ASB president this year, and it's the same confidence that is helping me give you the speech right now. I would like to say thank you to Ms. Bowles for giving me this opportunity. It was a blast and I enjoyed it every second. 
I'm sure all of you have broken down walls, and I have no doubt that in the future, you can be the next Albert Einstein and discover something new about our world, the next Stephen Curry and become a two-time MVP, the next Picasso, or even the next Mark Zuckerberg. One thing all of these accomplishments have in common is that they all started out as dreams. I believe in following your dreams because one day they will come true, but it's up to you to do so. One famous author I've read about, Ralph Waldo Emerson, wrote, what lies behind us and what lies ahead of us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Ralph didn't just start out as an author or a poet. He started out just like the rest of us, learning English, history, PE, science, and math. He experienced these five major subjects we have come to appreciate in our middle school learning experience. We as learners have progressed so much, and we will be bringing our intelligent minds all the way to high school. I personally want to wish you all good luck in high school. Whether you are becoming a Bruin or a Charger, remember, you are a Cougar forever. Congratulations, Cabrillo Class of 2017. Thank you. This is the time when I would make my remarks, but to tell you the truth, I don't think that I can express my sentiments any better than Mateo just did. But I do have two things to say, and one of them is a poem. But before I read it, I just want to say that even though you are all dressed alike in your gowns to show unity, each of you is different, special, unique. You may choose to do whatever you want with your life. Maybe it's the pursuit of happiness, as it says in the US Declaration of Independence. Or maybe it's in this famous passage, also by Ralph Waldo Emerson. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know that even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Every year at these promotional ceremonies, I read a poem that I wrote 12 years ago at the first promotional ceremony for which I officiated. It's called, You Do a Lot More Than People Think to Make Your Life Work Out. But this year, I'm going to read a different poem. Because in the summer, Cabrillo's locker room is being demolished, and a brand new locker room, classroom complex is being built in its place. And I'm taking the liberty of unofficially, unofficially dedicating it to Jack DiCarlo. This poem was originally intended for staff to be read at our end of the year faculty party tomorrow night, but I just can't resist the opportunity of reading it to you. It's entitled, The Fortress of Jack. The size of his heart is immeasurable. It bursts right out of his chest. Stationed like a general in the boys' locker room, waiting for them to get dressed. Not just to instruct them in sports and in games. Oh no, a simpler message in mind. Sure, take the shot or swing for the fences, but always, always be kind. It's the only thing that matters, that's what Jack taught to every student he had. And to so many children for so many years at school, he was surrogate dad. And he cared for us too like a brother, he had conviction for how things should be. And with his big personality, he loved us all dearly. He cared about you and about me. And now he's retiring and we're happy for him. He'll just be a man about town. And without Jack inside, there's just one thing to do. We'll knock that old locker room down. And with that, I'm presenting Jack with this plaque that reads, Thank you for touching all of our lives. Where's Jack DiCarlo? Where is he?
I would now like to call up the, um, the counselors, Cabrillo's counselors, Lynn Camacho Light, Carmen Maciel, and Maria Solario to present the Judy Blake Straight A Awards. Good morning. Thank you for being here with all your loved ones. Today, uh, we want to recognize students. Um, the following students, please, uh, the following students maintain straight A's throughout the 2016 2017 academic year at Cabrillo Middle School. Students, as your names are read, please stand up and remain standing until all the names have been read. Arisa Abense. Casper Arbavi Von Bui Asia Cortez Ariana de la Cruz Pranava Gunda Naga Isabel Ho, <laughs> Nawada Kared, Isaiah Kenton, Mindy Lam, <laughs> Maichelo Moaka, Anwar Mohib Puthi Vidu, Anthony Nguyen, Emma Nguyen. Kimberly Nguyen. Nancy Nguyen. Arish Patel. Jesus Perez Sanchez. Iris Quintana. Pranel Singla. Manas Servastava, Caitlin Susan, Gabriel Takao, Richard Trong, Madison Wong, and Nithya Yaluri. Congratulations to these students. Starting Monday, you will be able to go to Cabrillo office and pick up your award. Congratulations. All right. The following students have had A's for all three academic school years, 6th, 7th, and 8th. When you hear your name, we'd like you to come up and receive your award. Vamsi Atmuri. So if you can come up to the stage, please. Muhammad Asaf. Natalie Brennan. Marcelino Calveo. Nicholas Chang. Jenna Huo. Alexa May Miranda. Nicola Pungavan. Talon Joshi Ray. Zyler Randall Reed. You didn't do this, right? You didn't do this. Tanvi Sid I. Amar Singh. Shrita Shriya Shredder. Kisha Sweetra. Josh Vu, please come and receive your very well-deserved uh, awards. 
Thank you, parents, for being there for these students. It shows your support. Thank you very much. They had straight A's for all three years. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You can go back to your seats. Go ahead. Thank you. You can go back to your seats. Thank you. You can go back to your seats. I'd now like to call up Cabrillo Leadership Teacher Mary Ann Bowles to present the Gene Irvin Awards for Leadership. Hello, I'm here to present two awards. Would Lindsay Regan and Edison Orozco please come forward? While they're walking up, I'll begin a little bit. The definition of leadership is the process of influencing others to direct on a course or in a direction. There are many ways to guide or influence others, leading by example, finishing what you start, taking initiative, being responsible and honest are just a few. We'll start with Lindsay. Lindsay has shown these traits for two years in my leadership class. She is always willing to help others or me. She takes charge when something needs to be done and she always makes sure the job is done right and on time. She has been involved in sports, has had excellent grades and served as our ASB vice president. She is a leader to her fellow students by being a good example and a good person. In a class project, she describes what a good leader is. She states, I have learned that being a leader is much more than simply leading. It is being a good role model to others and helping with many different things. Helping make the past two years, school years even better has taught me not only how to be a better leader, but to how to be a better person too. This also applies when involving myself in class discussions, school activities, and volunteering opportunities. Congratulations, Lindsay, you are a true leader. Edison Orozco has also been in my leadership class for two years. He has grown and developed in so many ways. He was very quiet when he started, and he has developed into what is a quiet leader. He is the behind the scenes person, making sure that everything that needs to get done, gets done. Anytime I need a volunteer in the class, and I mean anytime, his hand was up. Anytime we have a class uh, discussion, he always participated. He believes in what he does, and in describing the true meaning of leadership, Edison states, a leader is a person who shows others that they can go above and beyond. If someone is a leader, they will help someone who is in need of help. He is well liked by his peers and his teachers. He is involved in school sports, has good grades, and participated in the cat club. Edison is a soft-spoken leader that others follow without realizing it. Congratulations, Edison. I'd now like to call up Vice Principal Mark Ogier to give the Academic Achievement Awards. Morning. This year I have the honor of uh, announcing the winners of the Academic Achievement Awards. With that being said, would Jenna Hool and Josh Boo come back out here? Both Jenna and Josh were also previously awarded for earning straight A's all three years in middle school. To do the math, that's 72 straight A's. Actually, more than half of those were A pluses for both Jenna and Josh. 
Uh, Jenna has fond memories of her first days at Cabrillo, where she recalls students and teachers being really nice and enjoyed making friends while becoming a member of the STEM program. She especially liked the challenging curriculum and dry sense of humor of Mr. Lilly in Geometry Honors. In her free time, she plays catcher for her softball team, the Sunnyvale Pave Hunts, and loves to relax with a good fantasy novel. Jenna has a dream to become an engineer that uses technology to improve people li people's lives. She's very aware that she lives in the right neighborhood to pursue her dream. The techno-humanitarian, Jenna Hu. <laughs> Josh is an avid musician and loved playing all three graduations, obviously including his own. Um, he really enjoyed playing with the Wilcox Band this year and aspires to be as talented as some of the senior musicians there. In his free time, he likes to play music. Josh actually plays five instruments, piano, clarinet, saxophone, flute, and the marumba. Josh taught me that's like a giant xylophone. Josh would love to play music professionally at some point, but says nothing too grand, no red carpet. He says he just wants to live a happy little life. The ever so modest and very talented Josh Vu. Now, I'd like to introduce one of America's most celebrated eighth grade team co-chairs, the staff for student basketball game buzzer beater, Mr. Brian DeWester. How are we doing out there? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, today I have the pleasure of giving the unique contribution award to two students. And those two students are Kayla Fan and Laura Lamb. <laughs> now while people may not people may not be used to the word unique being used as a compliment. For instance, what a unique poem. I didn't know you can find so many things to rhyme with the word cat. Or, what a unique drawing. I'll put that on the classroom refrigerator. And then you say, Mr. DeWester, you don't have a classroom refrigerator. And I say, exactly. But, I can assure you that today, when I say the word unique, I mean something positive, that you've made a positive contribution and these two winners have definitely done that here at Cabrillo. So with Lauren, Lauren's uh, journey didn't start here at Cabrillo. In fact, she made her way to us after leaving Don Calajan, actually to join our STEM program. By joining the STEM program, Lauren elected to participate in weekly activities and competitions, create projects, and take on challenging curriculum. If joining STEM didn't show that she was driven enough, Lauren agreed to take on two math classes this year. You, you heard that right. Two math classes, because apparent, apparently people love math that much. Not only has Lauren contributed to Carrillo through her dr uh, drive and work ethic, but when she's not dealing Girl Scout cookies, which technically contributes to uh, our sugar intake, uh, she, her impact can be found on the basketball court. Now, Lauren, I know that you're like quick to be characterized as, you know, quick to smile, but you certainly brought a smile to Mr. DeCarlo's face when he saw your gifts on the court. As if being a stellar student athlete wasn't enough, Lauren's sense of empathy is incredible. So much so that I would like to read something that Mr. Garber had said about you. Now everyone has been thrown under the bus at some point, everyone. But while Lauren, was under, uh, while Lauren is under the bus, she's learned that it's not her problem that got her there. It's other people's hurt. So instead of being angry and resentful, she tries to help them. I mean, that, that's just incredible. In short, Lauren, you have contributed to Cabrillo through academics, pure sugar, athletics, and in being an emotional role model. The role model. Congratulations to you and to your parents. All right, Kayla. Kayla, like Lauren, is a member of our STEM program here at Cabrillo, which means that Kayla is not only committing herself to an academic challenge, but also a giant 
time commitment, giving up extra time on Wednesdays and Saturdays to complete challenges and to perform at fairs. It is no surprise to Kayla's teachers that she is willing to meet these challenges because in the classroom, she is described as extremely helpful, hardworking, a glorified unicorn believer, yeah, <laughs> and a positive role model. Being a positive role model extends beyond the classroom for Kayla, where she demonstrates a caring personality by noticing pe people's emotional states and is willing to lend a helping hand to those that may need it. The caring doesn't just stop there, or as Mr. Garber put it, if you're lucky enough to catch her attention, it is not a one-time thing. She'll keep caring about you, and she won't give up on you. When you take a look at her hardworking nature and her ability to be a positive role model, both inside and outside of the classroom, it makes perfect sense that Kayla is a part of Cabrillo's leadership class. In leadership, Kayla has shown remarkable growth from seventh to eighth grade. She learned to put herself out there, like trying out for volleyball or being a part of Santa Clara's youth commission. So Kayla, in your time here at Cabrillo, you've contributed through academics, being a role model, and now you'll continue to represent Cabrillo on our City Youth Commission. Congratulations to you and to your parents. And now it is my distinct honor to throw it to the man, the myth, the legend, Jack DiCarlo. Good morning. It is an honor to present the 2017 Cougar Awards. This year's Cougar Award winners go to Amr Singh and Erizvedi Juarez. Come on down. What is the Cougar Award, you may be thinking? Well, each year, Mr. Garber and the eighth grade teachers choose two students that most embody the Cabrillo Cougar spirit. They have to demonstrate honesty, integrity, a strong work ethic, resiliency, and leadership. These two definitely did that. Amr Singh has been a model citizen at Cabrillo. He is always respectful and is a leader in the classroom and on campus. Amr is a great student with lots of potential academically and athletically. He loves playing sports and I have noticed that Amr is willing to push himself to be the best at any sport he tries. It was a tough basketball season for him this year. He sprained his ankle severely at the beginning of the season and missed almost the entire thing. However, through proper care and physical therapy, <laughs> he was able to recover and play in the championship game. That took hard work and determination. So managing his time between the STEM program and after school sports is a difficult task at which he excels. Students look up to Amr not just because he is tall. Congratulations to this year's Cougar Award winner, Amar Singh. I kind of tricked Ari. Did you know that I was tricking you the other day? Okay. Ari's Vedi is the epitome of perseverance and resiliency. I interviewed Ari a few days ago to get information to put into this speech. She didn't know that this was coming. Ari missed three quarters of her sixth and seventh grade school years because of a serious illness. Well, this beautiful young lady could not wait to get back into the normal routine again. With her illness in remission, she started her eighth grade year with hope and enthusiasm. She didn't want to be treated differently by students or teachers. In my PE class, Ari tried to do every task presented to her. I think that she was surprised 
how much she could do. And through it all, she did it with a smile. I asked her what her proudest moment was this year. She replied, math has been so hard for me since I had missed so much of my classes. But I got an A on one of, well, let me start that again. I got an A on one of Mr. Lilly's tests, missing only three questions. And so she was gleaming when she said that. Mr. Lilly, I interviewed also, said that Erisvedi shows up daily with a positive attitude and a willingness to learn. Overall, she's a really nice person that made the classroom a better place. And Mr. Lilly remembers the test that she aced. She got, he got equally excited when grading her test, grinning proudly from ear to ear. Ms. DeWeese said that Ari is creative, kind, helpful, and always positive. She works hard and demands excellence of herself. Ms. Durrell said that she has watched Erisvedi grow this year. She has taken more responsibility for her grades and really shown a renewed interest in her schoolwork. Ari, you are an inspiration to everyone who knows you. Congratulations. Okay, at this time, we are ready to present the diplomas. So, would row one please stand? Will row one please come forward? Follow Ms. DeWeese. Surya Danasakaran. Kari Guzman. Rachel Abeta. Courtney Vanderwick. Jaden Grandy. <laughs> Nikki Magnow. Paula Mondano. Ariana De La Cruz. Jocelyn Guerrera Rodas. Michaela Masuda. Kimberly Nguyen. Topanga Schubert. Nithya Urelli. Arushi Patel. Shreya Shreeder. Likna. Likna Vankaila. Gavin Herrera. Hold on, hold on. Stanley Tran. Jeremiah Torres. Peter No. Bryson Bradley. Aaron Edwards. Rolando Prado. Aaron Lucatero. CJ De La Cruz. Zyler Randall Greed. Casey Aslan. Alex Martov. Jesse Timmerman. Brian Fan. Daniel Kingsbury. Devin Anderson. Kimberly Carrias. Audrey Melski. Danielle Boswell. <laughs> Marina McNeil Vavanko. <laughs> Natalie Brennan. <laughs> Jenna Hu. <laughs> Natalie Jung. 
Sakshi Kumar. Alexa May Miranda. Stephanie Koo. Tanvi Sadai. Julia Cook. Aliyah Harrison. Rachelle Osuna. Wilford Topple. Gabriel Danakari. Ruby Pino. Christy Vu. Jesus Perez. Jaden Leong. Vong Bui. Leonardo Guzman. Gabriel Dominguez. Moises Tejeda. Christian Mendevar. Michael Menangan. Yvonne Solario. James Tedro. Nicole Avanze. Nancy Nguyen. Moada Kayed. Jeevan Navudu. Sean Doe. Jareth Copley. Praneel Singla. Amar Singh. Russell Semsem. Daniel Vong. Ray Dominic Fajardo. Lindsay Regan. Mateo Urquidez. Purva Mon. Annalicia Bonelli. Abadula Asayam. Joshua Caravajalo. Josh Vu. Manas Srivastava. Talon Ray. Nicholas Chang. Caleb Shi. Allison Eloso. Dennis Nicole Vargas. Kaylin Susan. Christine Madano. Anthony Nguyen. Karen Pompa. Angie Nguyen. Lenise Butner. Aiden Glennon. Whitney Songer. Aaron Rojas. Okay. Ina Esmeralda Domingo. Samantha Reyes. Emmy Nguyen. Clara Sim. Sydney Domain. Amina Hedick. Arshpreet Kaur. Daniela Armenta. Jennifer Ibarra. 
Medoris Navarro. Marky Calvillo. Maria Ava Perez Jacqueline. Michaela Garcia. Casper or Bobby. Asher Moorhead. Anthony Alice Castro. Miguel Riviera. Jadis Vaughn. John Cellini. Alex LaFam. Yeah. Haley Canderly. Azine Salarian. Crystal Pate. Eris Vady Suarez. Aliyah Santiago. Maricela Rivas. Shariza Miotan. Yasmin Milani Flores. Madison Bukal. Ayan Mohammed. Iris Quintana. Wendy Mejia. Abed Rabi. Antonio Rivera. Thomas No. Paul Chim. Nicholas Martinez Escamilla. Johnny Nguyen. Christian Paniagua. Mohammed Abdulwahid. Fernando Cabrera Jr. Juan Lopez. Christian Laback. Diego Cifuentes. Jesus Landa. Raziel Castillo. Solange Suarez. Estela Valetes. Eduardo Rodriguez. Kent Stark. Robbie Belong. Diego Medina. Jonathan Marquez. Tyler Haruda. Bobby Rivera. Angelo Romero Islava. Dior Serrano. Dalen Turi Turi. Yvonne Lira. Ranjat Sandu. Mohammed Asaf. Sean Luciano Galarza. Jesse Tao. Antonio Vecamalalo. Forrest Fitzgerald Watts. All thing, right? Jason James Guerrero Jr. Melissa Ariano. J. 
Juliet for Cot. Fiana Suleem. Edison Erostico. Reina Ramos. <laughs> Annabelle Greeley. <laughs> Liliana Prado. <laughs> Catherine Sanchez. Michaela Nevea Mamea. Danielle Ray Castro. Cecilia Barajas. Jasmine Rodriguez. Hadia Neuer. Gerline Kaur. Yuvia Cano Gutierrez. Leila Davina Lopez. Jairo Carrias. Samitha Habale. Madison Wong. <laughs> Kelly Galicia. <laughs> Yorosh Lukianic. Aaron O'Brien. Ryan Taff. Gabriel Takao. Pranav Gundanaga. Vamzi Atmuri. Darren Cadabe. <laughs> Michelle Oseguera Virga. <laughs> Kayla Finn. <laughs> Mindy with an eye, Lamb. Jasmine Chavez. Keisha Sweetra. Intian Yesin. Erica De La Cruz. Hannah Marin. Danielle Schmitz. Sarah Gaona. Wait, 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 wait. Brandon Montez. Cedric Briones. Trio Mackey. Ryan Harper. Kevin Garcia. Michaela Souza. Amy Makeda Montez. Faith Gonzalez. Fernanda Martinez Romero. 
Lauren Lamb. Carla Oriana Segovia. Micah Delazario. Hold on. Leslie Mejia Contreras. Anna Tellez. Really? Ethan Javier. Jonathan Tran. Davix Valdemoro. Ishan Sandeep. Krish Prasith. Tumani Ridzik. Jairo Espino. Sunny Gaviola. Elmer Salguero. Jared Alcala. Brandon Tovar. Mateo Rodriguez. Trustin Huynh. Omar Yamas. Preston Lee. Alton Garcia. Josiah Camarena. My cello Mojica. Kyle Pagsisian. Paula Rodriguez. Eileen Sanchez Cruz. <laughs> Leslie Gonzalez. <laughs> Kayla Gates. <laughs> Emily Morgan Hootaloop. Christiana Campos. <laughs> Stephanie Sanchez Torres. Priscilla Perez Lara. Yannette Paulino. Hamil Delgado. Roberto Ortiz. Brandon Contreras. Gabriel Suarez. Diego Castillo. Antonio Ortiz. Cesar Cruz. Elvis Kukavika. Jesse James Music. Anthony Casanera. William Volker. Steven Romero.
Juan Arriaga. Ethan Robles. Christian Perez. Sydney Rankin. Peja Zapeda. Lola Benjamin. Jacqueline Tran. Arcelia Ramirez. Alyssa Nguyen. Caroline Bay. Hillary Vo. Pablo Cuevas. Joshua Herrera. Richard Troom. Sebastian Bach. Isaiah Kenton. Isaac Gaeta. Angel Moreno. Drake Betancourt. Celeste Carmen Esparza Aguayo. Valkyrie Cheney. Zane Gray. Madison Majale. Jada Lopez. Liba Khan. Isabel Ho. Angelina Valdivia. Timothy Yo. Leilani Robinson. Janae Johnson. She's first. Ricardo Jimenez. Michael Velarde. Celine Suarez. Keloa Monzo. And Carter Mills. Before Jack DiCarlo closes, I'd just like to thank the people responsible for putting on this beautiful event, namely the office ladies, Arlene Enriquez, Claudia Freitas, who is the district's classified employee of the year, Dorothy Nunez, Brenda Mora, the eighth grade faculty, the staff at Great America, that'd be Jesse and Ricky the sound man. Appreciate everything they did to make this promotional ceremony a wonderful success, and now I'd like to hand the mic off for the last time to Mr. DiCarlo so he can introduce the Cabrillo class of 2017. I think that we need to also give a special thanks to all the, pe all the people that support you students. And they're sitting behind you there, they're sitting over there, and many of them are still up on the stage. So. 
graduates, I need you to give a round of applause to all these people that help you be what you can be. It's always about you. Okay, so you ready for this? Okay. It is with extreme pride and pleasure that I present to you the 2017 graduating class of Cabrillo Middle School. Congratulations! Okay, counselors, you can begin leading them out from the back row. We're gonna file out and back. Thank you all! Congrats.